Uh, so we have a kitchen light, fluorescent light, that when you turn it on, it just goes on kind of 30% of what it should be. So I'm going to take it apart and see if I can fix it. Most likely, I'm a, at worst, I'm going to take out the, uh, the guts and just change it because I think it would be too much work to change the whole fixture. Maybe just change the ballast and the, the two end cap that, that hangs on to the fluorescent bulb. So we'll see. Okay. So I have two ladders set up kind of stagger like that so I can step from one ladder to the other. So I can access the whole uh, length of the fixture if need to. Okay, so it looks like the ballast has been changed to a T12. Which I, I guess these are T12. I have no idea. We have to get on the web to, to see what a T12 is. But here's the line coming from the switch. Okay, and so we got two white and two black coming out from the switch. And looks like each white and black goes to each ballast. And then from there, it goes to these four. So at worst, if we need to replace the whole thing. Okay. Okay, so we'll see. I'll work on it and I'll come back and report what I found. Okay, so I see something. But that might be a problem here. Okay, so one end, each ballast can do two lamps and for each lamp one end one lamp takes a blue one lamp takes two blue on one end and two yellow on the other end the other lamp takes two red on one end and the same yellow on the other end so six lines okay so these two bulb it's got a blue but where the heck is the red because the red looks like it's going to this sets of lamp bulb so i think these two red should be over here So I have to, I'm going to take these out, well I'll take all four, and then I'm going to pop this cover to see what's behind here because I don't know what are, this go over there and this go over there and comes back, or it's true we only got two, so maybe it's just miswire. Um, this was like this, and it was attempt to fix by someone else, so I don't, I don't know, I have to double check you know, that part of it too. Okay, come back a little bit.
Okay, so I took this uh, strip off over here. So right now I'm, I'm just going to work on this four bolts. I'm going to just work on the first two, the closest to me to the camera. So according to this wiring, um, each lamp gets a blue on one side yellow on the other side which is okay and then red on one side and yellow on the on the second tube so uh, he reversed it so instead of uh, red here he put yellow which is okay on this side red is okay but the red came from a different ballast I don't know if that makes a difference or not I, I think I would prefer the red to come from this ballast. So I'm going to see if I can swap the red from here. So take this out and move it to this red. So basically I want to get two bulbs out of one ballast the way it was initially or originally designed to do. This ballast, the previous uh, person who attempted to repair this said they, he changed this out and it still didn't work. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do first. So basically, again, if you look at this, supposedly one ballast handled two lamps so the red and blue does it make a difference if it came from another ballast is the question so let's rule that question out by doing it the right way and if it still doesn't work then we'll proceed with the next uh, troubleshooting step okay so I'll do that Okay, so what I did was, again, I'm just working with uh, two sets of bolts coming from one ballast. So I moved the, the red and the blue to these two. And on the other side, I moved the yellow that comes from this ballast. See right there. And it goes to these two and I completely removed this set because we're troubleshooting just one side right now so replace the bolt and turn on the switch and see if that works if that doesn't work and I don't know what I'll do next we'll figure it out So basically he just missed water. That's that's good. Okay, we'll we'll do it to the other side. Okay, I'm just gonna have to show you this um, without actually doing it to it. So this, this little bracket is held in place by four little metal tab or tongue. And then on the other side, you just snap it in to where there's a little 
punch out or raise um, metal right here and once it push past it bends and then once it go past it snap out and therefore it's that's how it's um, hold on held on so what I did I took two flathead screwdriver I put on both sides and I kind of pry it this way toward the camera um, well I mean you can try whatever basically you want to put separation make this gap bigger and it'll pop out and then you do it to the other side so then this whole side is popped out and then you just slip this bracket back and uh, and that's how I remove it okay Okay, so I pop both sides out and watch. I'm going to take this, tilt, you know, swing it out, and then see the fourth tab. They go in like that, and then you snap in. So to unsnap it, you have to pry it out. Okay, so, and you notice this, I think there's a work for this. I saw another video, I forgot what it's called. I can't hold the camera, this is the same thing. But the way it goes in is it just goes in like that. Okay. So it's just a, a matter of putting the right color, okay. the other two right color wire. So I'm not going to even, I'm going to rewire by just moving these things as opposed to actually rewiring it basically. So I just grab the right one, the matter, I mean this, the wire is long enough and I just pull the, the end, the right end and snap it in. So what he did was he um, just basically put the wrong end. And that's assuming the other side works the same as this one. Okay, turn the camera back off and do it. Okay, we have a little problem. I've never seen these before, these connectors. Uh, I happen to have the old traditional one, you know, these twisty kind. So these are, you just, you know, it's a quick connect, you just stick it in. Um, but it looks like he, he used one, there's three opening and it was um, to, to get this this Y by the way was threaded through one of these guy so and thereby I didn't have enough uh, length to go to the opposite end so I, I cut it thinking that I can plug into the other free slot so I abandoned this one I was gonna plug into here but it looks like there's a tip already in there focus um, so I'm gonna just abandon this whole connector I'm gonna, I'm gonna clip it right here and just use the traditional one okay
second moment of truth. Okay, so um, I'm happy that it's just a miswire, so I didn't have to run to Home Depot and get parts and all that. Um, I'm gonna tell um, Aaron to see if he can, uh, you know, one day just shorten all the wire, make it neater up there. But otherwise, fix. Okay. That's it. Thanks for watching.